Whether you're a defender or not, this will help you become a more complete player. If you are a defender, I just want to give you three ideas that will help you be more confident when you're defending on the field. So number one, I've said this before in a lot of defending tutorials, but I just have to reiterate, I have to bring it up again because I think it's, it's really the foundation of your positioning. When it comes to defending, positioning is everything. This is why old defenders who are slower can still be extremely effective on the field because their positioning is so good. So it's not just about making tackles and pushing guys off the ball. It's about being in the right spot at the right time. You will save energy, you will save yourself stress if you just focus on your positioning. So number one, be goal side, inside. I've said it before, I will say it again. So let's get these blue players. I'm gonna be the red team defending. And yes, I do not have 11 players on the field, that's totally fine just to demonstrate and make it easier for you to see. So goal side inside, what that means is you have to be aware of who you're marking, okay? So if I am this outside fullback, maybe I'm marking this winger here, goal side inside would be goal side, so I'm closer than him. If he's further forward than me, then he is goal side. If he's inside of me, then he is inside. I am outside, okay? So I wanna be goal side inside, something like that, okay? But let's put him back here. So let's say you were there, so quickly, to get goal side inside, I want this guy here, I want this guy here, and I want this guy here. Okay, something tight and compact like that. Let's say this guy's getting forward, maybe he can come and help like that. Goal side inside. So protect the net, protect the inside of the field. Worst case, you wanna keep him to the outside. You do not wanna give him this space in here. If anything, you wanna give him this space out here. So when you're defending, quickly think, who is the guy I'm responsible for? Am I inside of him, and am I goal side of him? Now, saying that, you do not want to give him space when he gets on the ball. So let's say that this ball is being played out here. Okay, you have to anticipate that you're the closest to that player. If you're the closest, you're closing the player down. If you're not the closest player, you are closing the space, protecting the space and worrying about the other players. Okay, but let's say that that ball is getting played out here. Okay, you are goal side inside, so you're in a good starting position. But when that ball is played, you don't want to react and then get there. I talked about in another tutorial about finding space. You want to be proactive rather than reactive. The same thing comes to defending. It's so important when you're defending. You do not want to react. You want to anticipate. So you don't want to be reactive. You want to be proactive. So you know that ball is coming out there. Start making your movement towards him. So when that ball does get to him, you are already there and you're close. You're ready to defend. You're not going to allow a cross into the box. You're going to stand him up. You're not going to let him get past you. And one thing I just want to say, guys, it wasn't in my notes, but quickly, I just have to say, when you're defending, really think about staying on your feet as long as possible. So yes, it's nice to come in and make a hard slide tackle and kick that ball out of bounds. It feels really good. It looks really good. But if you want to be a better defender, you have to think about staying on your feet as much as possible. So staying in front of the guy, because if he goes for that fake shot and you go sliding in, then suddenly it's an easy touch and he's into the box. Okay, so yes, if you have to slide tackle, it's a last ditch thing, then go for that slide tackle, go in hard, be brave, put your body on the line. But whenever possible, think about just forcing this guy to make a mistake. If you stay on your feet, you think about staying in front of him as long as possible, he will have a heavy touch and you'll be able to come in, win possession, and then maybe we can play out from the back or you can just clear your lines. But think about staying on your feet as much as possible the next time you are defending. Rather than, and slide, it doesn't mean just slide tackling. Sometimes it's just lunging in or a really hard lunge. Instead of lunging, just think about moving your feet, moving your feet, moving your feet, staying in front of the player on the ball as much as possible. Do not let him go forward, force him to go backwards. But as I was saying there, when that ball comes to him, you have to, again, he has the ball and now you're going, it's too late, you've waited too long, you have to anticipate. You see the guy on the ball, you see his eyes, you see where he's trying to play the pass, you have to anticipate that it's gonna be there, you're trying to get there as the ball gets there or even better, before the ball gets there. So he'll have to take his first touch backwards. So think about being goal side inside, then think about being proactive, reading the play, anticipating the play rather than reactive. Because in a lot of situations, if you react, you're probably too late. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was when to press, when to get really tight, and when to step off. So you have to read your teammates. What are they doing? So let's say this center back has the ball. Okay, and we'll put these guys forward here. So something like that. Let's say you're playing in, in the back line here, okay? So when to press. 
if my teammates are pressing and we're closing down like this, we're closing down the players on the ball, this is your signal to press, to get tight, to, to even push these guys offside and get further up the field. However, if your teammates are not pressing, they're giving time on the ball to this player or maybe it's a central midfielder, he has lots of time on the ball to pick a pass, you cannot be really tight like this or you don't want to be as tight. Why? Because all it takes is a little clip over the top and he's spinning in. Usually, if we're being honest, the striker is usually faster than the center back. However, you're probably a super fast center back. But saying that, you still want to know when to go tight and when to give a little bit of space. Because even if this guy has time to play his pass and he tries to clip that one in top, you have good positioning on him, you'll probably be able to get there faster. So remember, if these guys in the back, your teammates aren't pressing, the players on the ball have time to pick a pass, you want to step off a little bit. Give them a little bit of space because if that ball comes into them, it's not the worst thing. You can come in and because your teammates aren't pressing, they're probably a little closer, they can help you double up. But if that ball is coming in, everyone is pressing up the field, they're closing them down, then we, we want to think about getting really tight to these guys because these guys don't have a lot of time to play the pass. They might just have to ping one into midfield and then we can pick it off. We can all get closer up the field. Or they'll have to ping a pass and maybe we'll be able to wing a, win a header. They just won't be able to have as much quality on the ball because we're pressing them, we're forcing them to make mistakes. So if your strikers, your midfielders are pressing, you can get tighter. If they're giving them time on the ball, we have to drop off and we have to respect that, respect their quality on the ball. And if that ball comes in, that's fine. We can deal with that with the help of our midfielders. So think about that. The other thing and the final thing that I wanted to talk about was, oh, it was actually reading versus reacting. So we did talk about all three things. Goal side, inside, reading versus reacting, and when to press and when to step off. So hope you found that helpful. I just wanted to give you a few little defender tips. I know I haven't done a defending video in a while. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. A like goes a long way. Comment below if you found this helpful. If you have any questions about this topic, please subscribe, hit that notification button. Go to my website, Progressive Soccer Training. Pick up the free giveaways, the free training material on my website, and I will talk to you real soon.